Welcome to Ruskers Outdoors. This trip finds us down in Mexico where we're staying in this little ranch house. It's got a couple little rooms, but they're stacked full of bunk beds. Got plenty of room for us guys to sleep. And don't forget the cactuses. It's full of cactuses down here. The first evening of my hunt, I was able to get this javelina. I got back in the blind, saw a bunch of deer, including this nice big nine pointer. I watched them till dark. The next morning I found myself back in the same blind. It was very foggy, but as the fog started to lift, I could see I was covered up with a bunch of deer around me, a bunch of bucks and does. Suddenly, out of the fog came that big old nine pointer from the night before. He wasn't in a good mood. He kicked his ears back, he started walking around toward the other bucks, and he started some fights. He scared all the deer out of the area. This was the year for buck fights. Just a month earlier, I was bull hunting up in Missouri with Dan Ellison and his daughter Ava, and I was able to capture these two bucks fighting. This is the time of year for fighting. After the first fight, I looked over to my right where I spotted this nubbins buck along with the spike buck, and they were practicing their fighting techniques. It took a while after the fights for that deer to come back in, but that big buck finally did come back. I had to wait for a good shot opportunity. He finally turned. I drew my bow back. I aim steady and I let that arrow fly. Hey guys, last night we shot a beautiful, beautiful big old javelina. Not not so beautiful. They're not that pretty. But anyways, we got a nice big javelina last night. This morning is my first sit here in Mexico for a morning sit. There was fog. I could tell something was out there. As soon as the fog started lifting, I could see some deer. There was a mix of does and bucks. Pretty soon the fog was lifting. A few more bucks came in. And a couple of them just started fighting. There was a one horn. There was just a, a buck with a horn off his left side. He started fighting with a much bigger buck. And it was quite a battle. They all ran off. A little bit later, all the bucks came back in. And a big guy come back in that, that won the original fight and gave me a beautiful shot. I took it. It's just been over an hour ago, so I just gave him some time. My arrow, I can see it with my binoculars. It's sitting out there. Looks like there's a lot of blood on it, so... I'm going to go out, have a look, see if we can find this guy. So let's go, let's go have a look for him. I walked out to the arrow and it was covered in blood. A short tracking job later and I found him. It's our first morning in Mexico. Last night we hunted. We got a nice ha javelina, a great big javelina. This morning we came out. Boom, this big old boy comes in. He got in a big scrap with a deer earlier this morning. And then he came back in, gave us a beautiful shot, and we took him. So it's just a beautiful deer, beautiful Mexican deer. I'm so happy to be down here. Thanks to Paul Corn for inviting me down on this fun hunt. 
Let's see what else we're gonna get. All right, thank you. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. And thank you for the help, bud. Anytime. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Thanks to Corey Hayward and Paul Korn for helping me load up my buck. This concluded my hunt down in Mexico. Along with this buck, I was able to get a javelina the night before. And in Texas, Perry Bowers was able to get this wide eight pointer and I was able to get a 10 point and our broken eight point buck. It was a fun trip down in the south. Thanks for watching Ruskers Outdoors.